The years-long investigation is over, and John Durham, the special counsel investigating whether there was any misconduct by the FBI in the Trump-Russia investigation, just released his findings. For years, as you may recall, Donald Trump and his supporters pinned their hopes on the investigation uh, by the former U.S. attorney for Connecticut. John Durham, later named special counsel by Attorney General Bill Barr. Trump and his allies arguing that Durham would exonerate him and his 2016 campaign and associates from any hint of improper behavior regarding the Russian government's attempts to interfere in the 2016 election. Durham is coming, was the slogan and the meme tweeted by Republican lawmakers uh, and the president's uh, family, hinting that Durham would lead to bombshell indictments of those who investigated Trump. Now, the bombshell indictments did not happen. Uh, Durham did get one minor court victory, two court losses. Uh, but President Trump appeared so confident of what Durham would find, he openly uh, pressured the special counsel to release his findings before the 2020 election. Regardless, the report is now here. It has dropped, and it might not have produced everything of what some Republicans hoped for. It, it is, regardless, devastating to the FBI, and to a degree, it does exonerate Donald Trump. Let's bring in CNN senior justice correspondent Evan Perez. Evan, what exactly did Durham find in this report? Well, Jake, the, uh, the bottom line finding from uh, John Durham's four-year investigation is that the FBI moved very quickly to investigate these allegations of connections, of collusion between the Trump campaign and Russia, and that they did so by ignoring a, a lot of uh, evidence that would have led them to drop that altogether. He's saying that uh, they may have had uh, reason to uh, open a preliminary investigation, an assessment. Perhaps these are very, very low-level investigations. But certainly what he finds is that there wasn't enough there uh, to, to, uh, to, to support the FBI's decision to open a full-blown investigation of, this, uh, of, of the Trump-Russia ties back in 2016. I'll tell you uh, one part of, of what he writes here. He says uh, that it seems highly likely that, at a minimum, confirmation bias played a significant role in the FBI's acceptance of extraordinarily uh, uh, serious allegations derived from uncorroborated informa information that had not been subjected to the typical exacting analysis uh, that the FBI usually uses. Uh, he goes on to say that the FBI discounted or willfully ignored material information that did not support the narrative of a collusive relationship between Trump and Russia. There was a lot of uh, very sharp criticism here of the former FBI leadership, James Comey, Andy McCabe, who were running the FBI and who oversaw a lot of these, uh, a, lot, a lot of the steps that uh, the, uh, the report goes into, Jake. But as you pointed out, bottom line, there are no additional charges. Nobody is bringing charges against Comey or anybody else uh, that the former president, uh, Trump, kept saying uh, he expected them to. Uh, there was uh, a, a, a former Trump, I'm sorry, a, a former Clinton campaign outside lawyer who was uh, brought up on charges. He was acquitted. Again, in here, there's a, there's a footnote that points out there's no chargeable crimes against people in the Clinton campaign. Again, something that the, uh, the former president said he expected this investigation to find, Jake. So it's very interesting. First of all, we should note uh, that when President Biden took office, he, uh, there were two, two uh, special counsels, or one U.S. attorney and one special counsel, that he let continue doing their jobs. One was John Durham right. doing this case, and the other one was the U.S. attorney in Delaware investigating Hunter. Uh, so that is why this was allowed to, to proceed. Um, a couple uh, quotes here from, the, from Durham's report. One, based on the review of Crossfire Hurricane, that's the investigation into Trump and Russia, and related intelligence activities, we conclude that the Justice Department and FBI failed to uphold their important mission of strict fidelity to the law in connection with certain events and activities described in the report. And he says about, quote, cer about regarding certain personnel intimately involved in the matter, there was a, quote, predisposition to open an investigation into Trump. He, he is basically saying, he's, he's not, th these are not criminal allegations, but he's saying that this was unprofessional and failed to meet the standards of the Justice Department and the FBI. Jake, uh, the, 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 the stunning thing about this report is that we, frankly, know a lot of this. Um, the, the Inspector General of the Justice Department did a, a 500-page report that came out uh, in late 2019, 
And that one uh, told us a lot of these findings that Durham is now, uh, is now uh, confirming, frankly. Uh, one of the reasons why uh, Durham was brought on board was supposedly to go beyond what the Inspector General of the Justice Department uh, found in, in their investigation. And one of the things they were supposed to do was to tell us a lot about what the intelligence community was doing. It turns out uh, they didn't find very much uh, there in, in, in the intelligence community, and certainly not to support the suspicions that they had that there was a cabal of, of, of people from the FBI and the intelligence community who were out to get Donald Trump. That appears to have fallen flat as part of this investigation. And so, uh, look, there's a lot in here that uh, should make the FBI uh, have to come back and answer some of the more questions, including some of the changes that they say they've made to make sure something like this never happens again. But the bottom line from what you, we see here at the, at the end of a four-year investigation, uh, really there doesn't tell us a hell of a lot more than what we knew uh, you know, a couple years ago when the Inspector General took a look at many of these things and came away with 17 trouble, very big troubling uh, findings that they said the FBI needed to fix. Jay. Yeah, so another thing, so Rachel Cohen, who is uh, a spokeswoman, the communications rather, communications director for Mark Warner, uh, who is the chairman of the Senate Select Committee on Intelligence, uh, she notes, uh, and this is an important, this is important context, that the Senate Intelligence Committee spent three and a half years reviewing millions of documents and interviewing hundreds of witnesses, this is, she writes this on Twitter, right. and concluded that the FBI had ample cause for concern in 2016. Right. And she notes that the, that the committee, the Senate Intelligence Committee at the time, was led uh, by Republicans. She's referring to uh, former North Carolina Senator uh, Richard Burr. And, and again, both of these facts can be true at the same time. It is right. possible that the FBI had legitimate cause for concern, and is also possible uh, that some individuals in the FBI uh, got ahead over their skis and were not as professional as they should have been. Right, exactly. And one of the things you come away from here in this report, and it was surprising to me to see him say it, uh, because, because you, you remember uh, in 2019, Durham came out with a, a, a very highly unusual uh, statement in which he said he uh, disagreed with a key finding of the inspector general which said that, you know, there was plenty of reason for the Justice Department for the FBI to investigate the Trump campaign. He said he disagreed with that. In today's report, Durham says that he sees reason for the FBI to at least take a look at some of the initial tips that led to what became Crossfire Hurricane. He's saying that the FBI had reason to investigate, at least preliminarily. What he doesn't see is the reason for a full-blown investigation, uh, according to this report. Jake, one of the interesting, one of the things that stood out to me, uh, if you remember, the former president kept saying that, uh, you know, he, w he was going to find evidence of, of, of deep state spying. Well, there is uh, a, a part here that talks about a confidential human source, essentially a spy, who was tasked with going to a Clinton campaign fundraiser. Again, let me repeat that. A Clinton campaign fundraiser because the FBI uh, had gotten some information that somebody was saying that perhaps a foreign government uh, might be expecting some favors from a future Clinton presidency. So there you have it. The FBI was spying on the Clinton campaign, according to John Durham's report. Has the FBI responded at all to the Durham report? They have. The, uh, the, 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 the uh, Christopher Ray, the FBI director, put out a statement just a little while ago saying that a lot of the changes that the FBI uh, have, has made uh, will make sure that things like this don't happen again. And, you know, the FBI wants to point out, uh, Jake, that, uh, you know, a lot of the leadership, a lot of the people who were involved in decisions that are, that are in for some very sharp criticism in this report, they're gone right. from the FBI. Right, and the current FBI director was appointed, as we, as we note, uh, right. by uh, President Trump. Not that that has stopped him from criticizing Christopher Wray. Evan Perez, thank you so much. Let's bring in former federal sure. prosecutor Ellie Honig and CNN's uh, Sarah, uh, Sarah Murray. So um, here it is, uh, all 300-plus pages, Ellie. Uh, the, the bottom line, uh, Durham has found that the FBI, in his view, should never have launched a full-blown investigation uh, into relationships uh, or allegations of relationships between Trump 
uh, and his associates in his campaign and the Russian government. Uh, what's your response? Well, Jake, there's no surprise in that conclusion. It was really sort of a foregone conclusion from the start. Let's remember how John Durham came to be special counsel. In the middle of 2019, when Mueller concluded his investigation, Donald Trump was taking to Twitter regularly saying, all caps, investigate the investigators. And shortly thereafter, Bill Barr appointed John Durham to do this investigation. And there was a really important and, I think, revealing moment. In December of 2019, DOJ's own inspector general came out with a finding that, yes, the FBI made several missteps, and Durham seizes on some of these as well. However, there was ample ground to open an investigation. And right away, John Durham came out with a public statement and said, I disagree with that. That was three and change years ago, Jake. So it doesn't mean Durham's findings are valid or invalid, but there's absolutely no surprise that he's come out where he has.